Hey guys, what is up? It's Arthur Nut here and today I would like to share a personal story from my childhood and show you exactly how changing one little habit helped me save one dollar a day and starting from this age how I will grow that habit into one million dollars without me doing any additional work really. If you have just one dollar a day or any amount you can save, you can do the exact same steps because it is super easy to do and you can make a lot of money, especially if you give it a long enough time. I like doing these videos on how to make more money so you can replicate them in your own life and you can get one step closer to your dream life, whether that is having a nice big house for your family, having fancy cars, traveling the world or just living worry free really by reaching financial independence. If you watch this video, I will show you some ideas on how to save money, why is it important and show you an easy way to grow what you manage to save so you will have more and more money going forward. But before I share my own story and how it all began, I would really appreciate if you could smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. I know YouTubers say this a lot, but it really does take half a second and it tremendously helps us out as YouTube will show this video to more people. So the more likes you can get, the more people we can help out. So. Thank you for taking care of the like button and here is my story. For this personal story we have to go back about 15 years in time when I was really just a little child, probably 8-9 years old I would say and I have this vivid dream that I still remember today that I'm sitting at my desk in my bedroom at a hot summer day uh, and I was playing video games all day long because it was school summer break. And I specifically remember that on these days I would be drinking a one and a half liter iced tea. I don't know why, but I really liked iced tea back then. I remember when we would go to a restaurant on Sundays sometimes and I would always ask for iced tea. So I just remember this whole story the other day and I sort of compared to it what I'm doing right now. And the findings actually, not even surprised, they stayed up shocked me and I thought it would be worth sharing them because it might help and inspire some people out there. Originally, I thought I would only consider the single bottle that I used to drink as a kid as far as I remember, but I checked the recommendation on daily water requirements and I found this article at the website of the World Health Organization that mentions 3 liters a day, so I'll be using that in this video. I also know that prices are not the same in different parts of the world, so uh, the point of this video is not to give you an exact number, rather to give you the idea of how you can save some money and what crazy things you can do with your money really. So by the end of this video we might make a lot more than 1 million dollars, just keep that in mind. So as a first step to make this comparison and to come to this shocking conclusion, I had to know how much the iced tea would cost me today that I was drinking as a kid back then. And I did some research, meaning that I went to the store and checked the prices, but since they are in my local currency, we're gonna translate them into US dollars. Now, 300 of my local currency is worth one US dollar, meaning that for one piece of one and a half liter iced tea, I would be paying $1.25, but I need three liters a day, so I would be paying $2.50 every single day just to cover my minimum water requirements. I know it doesn't sound a lot, but it really adds up over time because if you think about it, that's $912.50 every year. Ouch! And I know you're expecting something revolutionary here, which will sort of come later, but the truth is that I just switched to drinking good old water. Yeah, that's one part of the big secret here. At around the age of 14, 15, I started drinking less and less of not just iced tea but all kinds of soft drinks and I started transitioning into drinking one and a half liter bottle of water. Now those cost around 38 cents each here but I would need two of that so I would be spending 76 cents every day or $277.40 every year which is a massive drop in price and a saving worth about 70% already meaning that more than $600 are left in our pocket every year. But about two years ago when I was 21, uh, after drinking bottled water for six years and realizing how crazy expensive it is for just being water, I switched to drinking tap water. Thankfully the water quality is good here and is considered low risk, so that's why I chose to drink it when I'm at home. And according to my utility provider, one and a half liters of tap water would cost me 0.648. And if you think that's low, wait till we translate it to US dollars, because in US dollars I'll be paying 0.00216, or because I need two of that, I will be paying 0.00432, not even half a cent 
for my daily water requirements, which equals just $1.58 for the whole year. Now, if you divide that by the original $912.50, you get that that it's a 99.8% saving, which is just crazy in itself. So now we know how I save not even $1, but essentially $2.50 every single day. But I hear you asking, Arthur, if you only save $2.50 every day, you would still need 1,095 years to save a million dollars. You know, I don't really have that much time, so can we do something about it? And neither do I have that much time, so here's exactly what I'm going to do. Here is the second part of the big secret. The trick is that we're gonna have our money work for us by taking advantage of what's called as investing and compounding. Let me explain. The money you save is just one thing, because in the world of making more money, one of the first goals is to overcome inflation. Now, inflation means that prices are increasing. This usually happens at 3% a year, and that's why you would like to grow your money alongside it, because if you don't, your money will be worth less and less every year, because the prices are now higher than what your money is actually worth, so you will be able to buy less and less stuff every year. But there is a way to do against it, and it's called investing. Now, investing is when you use your money for something and expect to make more money in return at the end. This could be a business venture, real estate, stocks, bonds, precious metals, what have you. Now, if you can make more money than what you lose on inflation, which is 3% a year on average, congratulations, you just made money. For context, investing in the stock market is known to return about 10% a year or about 7% if you deduct inflation. And the longer you can stay ahead of inflation and in the positive, the longer you can enjoy the benefits of compounding, which is just a literal money printer for you. And I will show you that later in the video how crazy that is. Basically, the longer you let it grow, the more it will grow every year. And that's what we're gonna take advantage of. And while this is not financial advice as I cannot tell you how to use your money or where to put it, here is the game plan. We're gonna put the money we save, we're gonna invest in an S&P 500 ETF. Now, what that means is that we're gonna buy one single thing on the stock market that has the 500 biggest US companies in it, and basically the bigger one companies, the more their performance will matter. But that's it. We're gonna buy that thing every single day, day in, day out. That way we can copy what the economy is doing, and if the world is doing well, our money will grow. If times are bad, our investment will lose some of its value. But over long periods of time, the yearly average is around plus 10% without inflation that we're gonna earn, so we are fine with it. VOO is such a thing, and it currently has a yearly return of 14.8% without inflation, that I do expect to go a bit lower as we go into the future, but for now, we're gonna use that. And here's how we're gonna arrive at the magical extra $1 million or even more. We're gonna grab this return on investment calculator, and it will ask us for some data, and if once we put everything in that we have, it's gonna put out a number and let us know how much our efforts will be worth in the future, and that's what we are curious about here. Pay attention to the top number because that's gonna be our final result, and also pay attention to the bottom half at the dark blue color because that will be your compound interest. Now, that's basically your growth growing itself, which sounds crazy, but it really works, and you will see how much it adds to your total results. The first thing we have to put in is years. Now, we're thinking long-term here, so I checked how long I'm expected to live in my country, and it comes to 77 years, and if we deduct my age, that is 23, we get that this money has about 54 years to grow in my lifetime, not to mention my children's who might inherit this, so let's just put in 54 years here. For rate of return, we're gonna go with VOOs 14.8%, which is a bit high, but we're gonna come back to that later. 14.8%. Initial investment is zero, because in this example, we're trying to work with the money we save, but if you have some starting cash, you can put that in, or even better, split it across your daily contributions, and that could really boost your results. Additional investment is how much we invest every period, and since we save $2.50 every day, that's gonna be $17.50 every week, but we like round numbers, so let's put in 20. 
And frequency will be how often we invest and the lowest this calculator can go is weekly. So we're gonna choose that. But ideally you would invest every single day on weekdays when you can. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And in that case, I will divide the weekly $20 contributions by the five weekdays, which will give me $4 investments every day. For expected inflation rate, I will just write 3% because that's a reasonable assumption, but we have no idea what the world will be like in 50 years. Tax rate is 0% because in my case, I'm not taxed anything unless I cash in on this position, meaning that I can postpone it to as late as I want to or when I decide to cash in because I found a better option. Alternatively, if you live in the USA, you can open a Roth IRA and grow all this money and get it tax free when you retire at the age of 59 and a half. But if you decide to do that, make sure to check what's your annual contribution limit and make full use of that. The next is inflation adjustment. Uh, yes, please, we will want that. I'm not going to click show values after inflation just yet. Uh, because there is something I want to show you guys here. So let's click inflation adjustment first and the result is 16.3 million dollars, but that's only half the truth uh, Let's be honest here because 16.3 million dollars You will have that but that's what your investment account will say and because we have this thing called inflation That makes your money worth less and less every year year after year we have to click show values after inflation so we can better understand what this 16.3 million dollars in 50 years time will be worth nowadays. So if we go ahead and click that, we can see the final result. That is 3.3 million dollars just from saving $2.50 every day and investing it. That is crazy. But I mentioned the rate of return part is a bit too high. So what I suggest we do is to use SPY's rate of return, which is almost identical to VOO. The only difference is that it's older and it includes more market crashes. So it's a bit more balanced. The return of SPY is 10.48 and that will take us to $630,000 still. So the final result of this experiment will likely be somewhere around $630,000 all the way to $3.3 million. But we don't know what will happen in 50 years time because even the smallest difference can have a very big impact if we are looking at so distant futures. And to show you, I put my money where my mouth is. I'm going to open up one of my investment accounts where I invest in this. Unfortunately, I can't do it in real time because I am recording with my phone right now. Uh, and I also don't live in the US, so the closest I could find is VUSD. And if we go to my history, you can see that I already started buying some and I'll be bumping up my daily contributions to $4 instead of two to really get this snowball going. Okay, so now we know all this, but what was the real goal of this video? To summarize everything, I hope this video goes to show how much money you can save if you look through your expenses and see where you can cut things out entirely that you don't need or just how you can save money by using cheaper alternatives. This video is about showing you that when it comes to money, it's not just about spending it or saving it because your money has a different dimension. A dimension that is about how much it might be worth in the future if you put it to its best use today by investing it in the right place. That's it for today. If you watched all the way till here, comment anything under the video and I will make sure to respond to you as I have responded to every single comment I have gotten so far. You can even include what's your favorite color so I know you're cool and watch till the very end. Or you can just let me know how you like this scene because I made some adjustments to the background to hopefully have a better, more cozy vibe going on. And I think I absolutely love it. So let me know how you guys like it. If you would like to see more like this, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MrArturNoy. I also have a Patreon. If you would like to see more tips and updates and get a few discounts, check that out. And don't forget to smash the like button and the subscribe button on your way to the next video. I hope you learned something new today. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.